Hello, Mr. Grimes here bringing you another video. This video is going to be on uh, solving and graphing. Single step inequalities. Okay, now let's remember back when we did equations, what happened if we had a problem like this? What plus 10 equals 12? Now, we can easily understand that the answer here is 2, but let's go through the process because remember we talked about uh, single step inequalities. We need to know how to do them to get to two step, and then we needed two step to get to multi step, and so on and so forth. So, let's get the basics first. We would usually just draw a line through here, and we would go, all right, well, it's telling us to add 10, so to undo that, we're going to subtract by 10. What we do on the left, we do on the right. 10 minus 10 is 0, and so we can just x those out. Bringing down the x, 12 minus 10 is 2, so we get x is 2. We knew it was 2 all along. Why am I doing this, though? Why am I re-showing y'all this? Well, it's because inequalities are worked out the exact same way as equations. It just looks a little different. So let's take this same problem and put an inequality with it. What plus 10 is greater than or equal to 12? Okay, so if it works the same way as an equation, then it's telling us to, to add 10, so we would subtract 10. What we do on the left side of the inequality, we do on the right side of the inequality. 10 minus 10 is 0. We can x that out, bring down the x, and 12 minus 10 is 2. Okay. However, the answers are a little bit different. Even though they look the same, they're a little different. In this problem here, if we was to graph it, we would get x is equal to 2, so it would be just a dot above the 2. Whereas this one, when we graph it, it's going to be a closed dot, and since the variable is on the left, the inequality points, and it's pointing to the right. So all these numbers are acceptable equal to or above 2. Well, what does this mean? It means that if we plug in anything above at 2 or above 2, we're going to get an acceptable answer. So let's try it out. Let's try something like 10. 10 is bigger than 2. Let's see if 10 works. Oh, sorry, I should have wrote down the equation first so that you can always see what I'm doing here. Okay, what plus 10 is greater than or equal to 12? Well, is 10 going to work? So 10 plus 10, is that greater than or equal to 12? 10 plus 10 is 20. 20 is indeed greater than or equal to 12. So 10 is an acceptable answer. Likewise, we can see why these other answers won't work. So let's try zero. Zero is not in our solution here, right? So let's look at zero. What happens when we plug in zero? Zero plus 10, is that greater than or equal to 12? Well, zero plus 10 is 10. Is 10 bigger than or equal to 12? No, it's not. So that's, that's not going to work. Okay. So on your homework, what you're going to get on the problems that you're doing is you're just getting these single step inequalities and all you have to do is solve them and then graph them. This is going to be useful later on when we start talking about negatives here in a little bit. But that will be on the next video. So until then, if you have any questions, let me know. and uh, we'll